Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and today, as you'll have seen by the title, I'm going to be doing a full face of Catrice makeup. Um, super excited. Some is new to me, some is kind of owned and loved. Um, there are a couple of items in here that are not Catrice and that is purely because I was convinced I already had them and it turns out I don't. So you have to let me know what you think of the setup. I'm playing around with it, trying to get the background sorted. I do have all hanging to go up in the background and I want to put some fairy lights. Um, but yeah, let me know what the lighting is like and what you think. And yes, let's get into this. So I have the Catrice Cosmetics one step skin perfecter it says care primer soft tint and spf 20. now this is new to me um so yeah i'm gonna be uh letting you know what i think of a few items as well so items products um but yes i haven't tried this before hmm it looks a bit like a cream i don't know if you can see but yeah so let's get some of this on, I don't know if I've taken too much. It would appear I may have taken too much, but we will see. And it feels nice. I do have to say it feels like it's kind of sinking in. Um, I'm not quite sure what kind of a kind of base for or primer for makeup it's gonna be, but time will tell. It does have a very subtle smell, but it's nice. It just smells like, I don't really know. It's just a really subtle smell. I'm not very good at explaining things. Yes, Danielle, I said it again. I am not good at explaining things. I suck. And yeah, right. Well, it feels, I have to say, slightly like, like sun cream. Okay, so, it does feel very much like a slightly softer sun cream. I don't know how else to explain it. Um, but yeah, so that's the One Step Skin Perfector. I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I think of it yet, but we will put that aside. And I'm going in with a foundation that I do know and love. And if I can find a foundation brush. <laughs> And this is the Catrice True Skin Hydrating Foundation. Um, this I have, it's right in front of me, in the shade 020 Warm Beige. I know and love this. Um, if you're not new, you've probably seen me use this a few times. Good shake. And this foundation I do find really nice. It is slightly on the... It's not runny runny, but it's not thick either. Does that make sense? I don't know. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. This foundation I do really love. I find that it kind of wears well on the skin throughout the day and it doesn't emphasize any dry patches or cling to them. It is just a really really lovely foundation and I am doing face first because I only have one um, Catrice um, eyeshadow palette, I don't know where I was going with that, I only have one Catrice eyeshadow palette and that is one that came as a free gift with purchase and it is a neutral one so today Steph does neutral don't get used to this guys because uh, it is not not my usual look for anything really even for kind of sitting in front of the telly usually I have a very colorful makeup on but yeah today Steph does neutral so for all of uh, my subscribers that do love neutral looks, you maybe gonna like this one? 
I don't know what the eyeshadows perform like because I haven't tried them yet. I have saved it, the palette for this video, along with this, well, the Skin Perfector and a couple of other things. Yeah, this is more like a medium coverage foundation, which is absolutely fine by me because I can conceal certain kind of areas with concealer so I don't know how well it's showing up on camera I'll try and get a bit closer so you can see it's a very skin like finish I love it and I know that it's a lot of people's favorites so the concealer I'm going in with is the concealer that goes with the foundation it is the Catrice True Skin High Cover Concealer and I have this one in the shade, um, ah, 021 beige, same as the foundation. Uh, just going to pop a little bit on my scars. Just got a few things to cover that the, uh, the foundation hasn't. Some of this probably is uncoverable because it's bad. <laughs> my skin has not loved the uh, stress but that's what it is Ooh, crikey yeah this is a really really good concealer I do really enjoy it I did find that I've got the um, the high cover foundation and whilst it is warm beige the same as this that one is more my summer colour so just because you are one shade in this one does not mean you're one shade in the other one and vice versa which did shock me a bit I'm going to slightly go over my eyes just purely because I don't think the uh, I don't think the eye primer really covers much and my skin is not playing ball at all. I'm just going to pop a little bit a little bit she says adding more and more um <laughs> under my eyes just to try and kind of erase the bags etc oh, poke myself in the eye I do not need to conceal my eyeball or maybe I do who knows I'm going off on one again now sorry <laughs> shut your mouth Steph yeah the both the foundation and the concealer are much loved um it is gripping pretty well to the primer i do have to say that but obviously a primer is something that needs to be kind of tried and tested that bit more um same as like with foundations concealers etc but this foundation and this concealer um are very tried and tested Right, let's pop that aside and the powder is also something that I already own and love and that is the Catrice Nude Illusion Loose Powder. I have transparent matte and I know I love this. Um, I've used this quite a few times. Okay, so let's make sure that I've patted in. Just going to take the tiniest bit on my brush and set under the eyes and just a tiny tiny bit so I do not want to uh, do not want to dry out my eyes 
there, I'm going to take that through the T-zone. This is a really finely milled loose powder. I do love that. Um, I do want to try the True Skin one after seeing um, Steph of Steph's Beauty Stash use it. I am very intrigued. Over the brows. As you can see, it does have a, a bit of a blurring effect also. And see, it's just overall really, really nice powder. I'm going to have to have a, a see once I have, when I'm editing, just to, uh, I don't know how in frame I am or how it all looks. Yeah, maybe you can let me know what you think. <laughs> Yesterday I did do, well yesterday I filmed, no I didn't, yesterday I went live for Karma Chameleon and it seemed to work okay there from what I could see anyways. So uh, make sure I set everything. I don't have any cream products or cream face products from like blushes, bronzers, highlights, anything like that. I only have the powder forms. Well, for nearly all of that anyway, as I discovered this morning when I went to find the blush and highlight that I don't have. Very clever. So before we go ahead and start on the eyes, I do have this Catrice Long Lasting Prime and Fine Multi-Talent Fixing Spray, um, which as you can see, is well used. Um, it's the only one I have. I didn't see a point in getting another one because I have this. It's not the finest mist. So yeah, I'm happy with how that's looking. So moving on, we're going into brows and I have this Catrice Slimmatic Ultra Precise Brow Pencil Waterproof in the shade Cool Brown. And it has the little spoolie on one end, which uh, I don't know why I bother trying to use because I have like, as you can see, barely any brow hairs at all. Yeah, it just makes me feel like, I don't know, who knows? But apparently I like doing this, so. The pencil is, if I can get it up, super fine. So really good for kind of hair strokes. I haven't done my brows like this in a while, so you'll have to excuse me if uh, you don't do too well. <laughs> they come out rubbish. Seeing as we are going neutral with the eyes, I figured. I'm just going to try and keep it like a nice natural looking brow. Not that I ever try to look fake as such, but... And this is the only Catrice brow product I have. I did try the pomade and like the split pot one and it was awful. It just... I did not get on with that at all. You might, obviously. Yeah. Everybody likes different things, um, but yeah, that did not work for me at all. Why did I do that? I do not want thick hairs there. Or maybe I do. I've been getting out of bed these past few days. Think it's fair to be proud about it. They will do. I am as happy with them as I am going to be. Okay, so going in with eye primer, I have the Catrice Waterproof Eyeshadow Primer. It says mattifying, 18 hour lasting in the shade Matte Rose Nude. I have tried this before. I can't remember what I think of it though. 
Um, seems to be a running theme. Is it actually going to cover anything? Or am I going to be glad that I popped on the foundation? <laughs> Who knows? Just get this patted in. I'm sure this is the one that Nikki Raven uses and loves. But today we're just doing a, a very neutral look because with the eyeshadow palette that I have, that's pretty much what is all you can do. So uh, yeah, today's look is going to be very, very neutral. More of the no makeup makeup look possibly. Who knows? We shall see. We'll see how it goes. I don't know I agree with the matte. Everything looks rather glowy. Maybe it dries matte. Who knows? Who knows? So let's... I do want to get a really big fluffy brush. Uh, do, do, do. You will do. Um, so this is the eyeshadow palette. It is the Catrice Cosmetics, the Fresh Nude Collection. Very, very neutral. And this, this is the colour story. So, right. Let's see what this feels like. It is very, very sticky. So I'm going to resort to something that I wouldn't usually do. And that is to set it. And I'm just using the same Catrice powder that I used for my face. I will list everything in the description box below um, for if you want to know what it is. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to, with the powder, set all of this area here. God, I feel so weird doing this. This is out of my comfort zone completely. I know for a lot of people colour is the out of the comfort zone, but for me it is neutrals. I'm just not quite sure what to do with them. I know it probably sounds absolutely ridiculous to, uh, to any of you guys that do neutral <laughs> makeup, but yeah doesn't tend to work out so well for me. The last time I tried to do a neutral look, it didn't come out very neutral. Right, so I am going to first go into this, this one here. And we are going to use that just to go through the crease. It's weird because it looks like there's barely anything on my face, on my face, on my eyes. There's not really much kick up. Is this actually doing anything? I'm not sure. I think that's kind of the aim of it, isn't it? Not to really stand out. I'm not sure that looks like anything. Again, quite possibly the whole point, but... Well, that's one colour down. One brown. Right, so I'm going to try and deepen it up using... Hmm, I'm going to try it with Sculpt. This one actually has a name, the Sculpt and Light. Um, yes, I am going in with Sculpt. 
and that is just going in the outer area and the lower part of my crease. This one's actually showing off a bit more. Well, this is definitely doing more. Okay, then back in with the original brush and just to go over the edges. I'm not sure why, because brown kind of blends itself in more brown, doesn't it? But, okay. Okay, well, okay. I'm leaving it with that. Um, and for my lid, I'm going to go in with this colour here, which looks to be shimmery. We shall find out. Wow, this is super, super neutral. Okay, I'm going to try spraying my brush. Try not to spray it over my drink. See if that makes any difference. Um... A little bit, maybe. Well, I think it looks okay. I hate it. Okay, right. And then the first brush, I'm just going to take through the crease there just to make sure that's blended okay and then the deeper shade sculpt is going to just go back on this outer outer area of my lid and just kind of wiggle that in Okay, so let's get a little brush. So I'm going to go back in with Sculpt, the deepest of the shades. And just take that under the, the outer part of my lower lash line. And then I'm, I'm going to go in with this shade here to blend out the lower lash line. What should I go in with light? No, I'm, yeah, I'm going to go in with light because I haven't used that yet. So we're going to see what that does. absolutely nothing okay i'm gonna go in with the one i was originally gonna go in with next to the shimmer see if you do something um okay i don't think i don't think it's particularly doing anything I think if you are a fan of neutrals that you might like this. Back in with that sculpt a little bit just to deepen up right against the lash line on the outer bit there.
am I going to try using that for the inner corner? Let's give it a go. So I'm going back in with the same shimmer that I put on the lid, or am I? No, I'm not. I'm going in with the light. I want to see what this does. Um, nothing. Let's try the one we put on the lid. Something. I might end up using the highlighter. So before I go in with mascara, I am going to go in with the only eye pencil that I have from Catrice and this is the 18 hour colour and contour eye pencil. I have it in Bride Lavender. So I'm guessing any colour would go with a neutral look. So we shall see. Can't not have anything in my waterline. Well, that's added something. <laughs> For mascara, I saw Steph of Steph's Beauty Stash using this and she seemed to love it, so I thought, oh, look at that go. So, this is the Catrice Glam and Doll Easy Wash Off Power Hold Volume Mascara. It says 24 hours on Easy Off. I don't wear my makeup for 24 hours like ever, so I'm never going to be able to test that for you. Um, I do love this brush though. I prefer the kind of, is it rubbery, plasticky kind of ones? My lashes are pretty rubbish, so no mascara is going to make them look amazing. But it is what it is. I'm going to go in with a, another coat there. Ooh, okay. Well, that is definitely doing something. Okay, so that is two coats. Not bad at all. Okay, so going with a third coat okay so three coats and I think that has actually made it look like I have lashes so I'm just gonna take that on the lower lashes I'm hoping this doesn't transfer transfer onto my face throughout the day then it doesn't matter because I am not going to be going anywhere so the only people that are going to see me is my boyfriend when he gets here my daughter um, and the animals and I don't think they care okay so that's not bad so back to face I have the Catrice shape in a box contouring palette um, I have used this. I believe I liked it. <laughs> We're going in with the middle shade there. Yeah, I'm just going to take that through there. It's not the most pigmented. I don't know if it comes in different shades. Oh, yeah, this one is light. It does have a picture on the back about how to shape your face, but I don't tend to follow those rules. Maybe I should. There. There. That is me. Not bad. I definitely think I would need a deeper one, really, though. 
Um, obviously, this is my winter skin. So in the summer, this isn't going to show up on me at all. Once I have a tan, any kind of tan, and this is just going to do nothing. Apart from, it might even make me look almost like grey and not good. In fact. And take that around the hairline. Yeah, this definitely wouldn't show up at all. In the summer, it's barely showing now. Like barely at all. It's doing something though. Once built up, it does build up nicely. Yeah, I'm definitely having to really build it up. So if you have really pale skin, I think this you're gonna love this, I think. Because the formula is nice. It's just a little bit on the pale side for me. And for blush and highlighter, I was convinced I had a Catrice one. I have searched and I, uh, I can't find it, so if I have got one, I don't know where it is. So I have this um, Revolution, it's the Relove kind of subcategory. I have no idea what they're doing. This is the Duo Blush and Highlighter. I have it in the shade, is it blushed or is it cute? It says cute on the back and it says blushed on the front. Um, so I think it's cute, but whatever. <laughs> so I'm going to... Well, obviously, going with the blusher and then the highlights. And let's have a see, because I haven't tried this yet. It's just been sat in my box of shame. Ooh. It's pigmented, but not too pigmented. So that's not bad at all. And actually, for the look I'm doing, that's really good. Really good. Yeah, I think it's just adding that little bit flushed look. Okay, that's nice. And the highlight, let's see what you do. I tend to like Revolution highlighters. If this is good, I will use this on the inner corner and brow bone also. Hmm. It's a very soft glow, so I'm going to add a little bit more lip from within. Yeah, not bad, not bad. It's not as blinding as um, some of Revolution's other highlighters, but then I think if you're someone that just likes a more a more natural lip from within kind of glow. Well, this is building up really pretty decently. I'm just gonna take my blush brush and just kind of melt them together a bit. So apart from a bright orange lipstick, the only other lippy I have from Catrice is this Prisma Lip Glaze. And it's in the shade Liquid Stardust. So what I thought I would do is go in with this Revolution and Bratz Yasmin lip pencil, um, just to pop down a colour and then go over the top with that Prismatic. I'm feeling better, there's no doubt about it And my days are brighter, my shoulders are so much lighter Just for a moment there, I thought that there was Oh, I really love this shade I don't know why I haven't tried this sooner 
That is beautiful. So this is the uh, Yasmin one. I like how that's looking. So I'm going to go over top of it with this Prisma Lip Glaze in the shade Liquid Stardust and just see what it does. Oh, that's almost like a purpley, purpley sheen. But yeah, um, as far as neutrals go, I'm pretty happy with this look and pretty happy with kind of all of the products I've tried. The eyeshadow palette performed well. Um, yeah, it's not really my usual style, but I'm not mad at it. So that is going to be it from me for today. If you've liked this video, please do give it a like, thumbs up. That really helps me out if you are new around here and generally love colourful makeup, supporting indie brands, because indie brands is going to make up the, the bulk of my videos. Um, so yeah, if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, please do hit the subscribe button and join us along for the ride because we have fun here. Um, so thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're all having a great day, great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.